I read Bizarro daily and there is absolutely never anything funny about it. Uh, I've been doing this for a very long time. And uh, the thing about it is, uh, the hard part about cartooning is coming up with an idea a day, all right? Uh, drawing a cartoon a day is not that big a deal. Getting an idea each day, a brand new idea, is a pretty hard deal. I've been doing it for 22 years, all right? Let's just figure this out. 22 times 365, that is well over 100 <laughs> cartoons that I have had to think up. Therein lies the secret to being a syndicated cartoonist. It's not as easy as it looks. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Bon après-midi, mesdames et messieurs. We're very delighted to have with us Dan Piraro. All right, here we go. <laughs> See, I, it sucks. I just tuned this like an hour ago. <laughs> anyway. FYI, never buy a guitar on eBay unless the pictures are big and clear, all right? Just so you know. Here we go. Hello everybody and welcome to my show. Should we just get started and uh, look at a couple slides? Um, this is a slide that was in the uh, elementary school where I grew up. This uh, slide actually has nothing to do with my personal life. I just like the shape of it. We'll look at some more slides in a minute. I apologize for the lousy reception, Frank. I lost my cell phone last week. This is a chocolate eclair. <laughs> now, I brought this cartoon because eclair is a French word. <laughs> Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. Did it ever occur to you that you think it's funny because you still have all your hair? Ding, ding, ding. Really glad to see you here, especially those of you with an afro. There you go. Ding, 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 ding. People often say, Dan, is that really you in that picture? Yes, it's me. <laughs> Looks just like me. I was raised in Oklahoma, so I, they may have married me off when I was very young. That kind of stuff happens down there. Now, uh, yeah, aw. <laughs> um, I just wanted to explain that um, you gotta be careful. Any breeders in the audience, anybody have children? Yeah, you, you got to be careful what you do, because, you, you know, you do these things to them when they're kids. You dress them up like Tucker Carlson for the first four years of their life, and you think it's all cute and stuff, but then, you know, you end up with me. You, you can really warp a kid, and, uh... After they're falling out, the Lone Ranger attempts to make Tonto jealous by getting a real Indian sidekick. Oh my, is he going to be politically incorrect? And so I save the dumbest letters and share them with you. You guys know the song? Everybody knows that, right? If you don't know it, find a gay person in the audience. They know it. And goofballs and nitwits and nerds with typewriters. People with screws loose that should be much tighter. Some have nothing better in life to do than take as the gospel some stupid cartoon. In honor of my driving the snakes out of Ireland, I beseech thee to paint thyself green and vomit in the streets. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day explained. Your cartoon making fun of millions of Irish people was disgraceful. Write back to me if you have the balls. <laughs> I've got the balls, but they're just so hard to type with. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who came today looking for a new car or cash, ding, ding, ding. this is not the Oprah show. Pull your head out of your ass. Ding, 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 ding. Would you believe me if I told you that it would be possible to draw a cartoon of a member of the audience while blindfolded? Would you believe me? Give her a hand while she comes up. 
Yeah, this is probably good. What is your name? Francis. Correct. <laughs> Very good. So she got the first one right, Francis. And um, uh, we don't know each other. No. Have we ever met before? No. Have you ever met anyone before? Yes. We're going to make it opaque, as opaque as possible. All right. So, all right. Now, tell everybody, can you see through that? No. All right, great. So turn around here and let me just tie it on. <laughs> okay. Now, you just stand there, and I'll do a portrait of you all blindfolded, and this is going to be great. To make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to draw you as a pirate. Is that okay? You know, they always have a skull and crossbones, and the reason they do that is because pirates' hats are poisonous. If you eat one, you could die. <laughs> right, let's give Francis a hand. Francis, ladies and gentlemen. Francis! Our method is the safest and most foolproof in the business. We simply tattoo your face on your scalp and teach you to walk with your head down. This is uh, what we in the business call a time release joke. It takes different people different amounts of time to get it. And even now, I would bet money there's someone in the room who doesn't quite get it yet. And the person next to them is explaining it to them. We'll give them just a moment. Ah, there she got it. She's the last one. Let's give her a hand. Common American tourist trap. See the birthplace of the president. True story. All right, here we go. I'm a recovering Catholic. Any others? It's just offensive, pure and simple. Forget the consciousness-raising exercise, if that was the idea. You don't slap someone's mother or father to make a point. And remember, the main point of this whole thing is to promote shopping. <laughs> they want to have fun, 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 and that means sinning, sinning, sinning. I'd love to live in the West. Being a transvestite here is pointless. <laughs> Does freedom of the press mean freedom to attack one's sacred beliefs? Yes! <laughs> yes, it does. He is sadly mistaken. I truly hope he sees the truth before it's too late. Biblical standards are not fashionable in the liberal American media today, but you can bet they will be on the day of eternal judgment. <laughs> So I just wrote back, when Santa Claus returns to feed bigots to his magic reindeer, you're going to be sorry. <laughs> I'm not a mean guy, you know, I want people to be happy. Just trying to entertain. Um, I should probably read an excerpt from the book, shouldn't I? All right. But for now, I'm happy to drag my boxes, art supplies, luggage, and computer around the country like a juggling octopus with a perverse need to be loved by strangers. Thank you. So grab your knife and fork and put your napkin on your knee. It's time for a big ass helping of bizarro baloney. I said grab your knife and fork and put your napkin on your knee. It's time for a big ass helping of Bizarro low Um, now, uh, so let's see, does anybody have a question? 